now because of that uh, now that it's a picture I can just zoom in because I zoomed in I'll just take another picture and then I'll add another screenshot and as you guys can see the screenshot is right there now I'll click on that screenshot again then I'll just pan and zoom in more and since it's uh, it's already zoomed in from the previous picture I'm just zooming in even more and then uh, take a snapshot picture of that or you could just like uh, go here you could use the L2 button to get e to make this even more zoomed in but keep in mind it will take a you will need to have like space to do the clips anyways guys that's my way of doing extra zoom ins uh, if you have another way of doing this let me know I would like to know because this is useful for people who want to make thumbnails because thumbnails uh, they appear in the first like three seconds of the video like uh one two three okay three three seconds there that the thumbnail appears from like a range from there like zero to three seconds so for some people they wanna they uh might say uh, i don't know uh, this might be the thumbnail that's a terrible thumbnail but you get the point and to fill in the blanks uh it's for it to be your thumbnail they just have like a stale image of that and then the video starts playing. That's at least how I do it. I, but I tend to make it less than three seconds because it's going to seem weird. So that's why this is important. As, or if you want to like zoom in on a graphical issue or something weird. Anyways guys, that's uh, how I do it. Let me know if you have any other methods of doing it down below in the comment section below. If you have any more questions, let me know in the comment section below. And as always, see you guys in the next video. Peace. <laughs>